Hi, I am Dr. Ilan Kumaran, corneal transplant refractive and cataract surgeon. I am the medical director of Navashakti Netralaya, situated on outer ring road, HBR layout 5th block near Nagavara flyover, Bangalore. Pupil in an eye is something like a shutter in a camera. The only work of this pupil is to limit the light entry into the eye. So what it does in a normal person is it either shrinks in size when there is bright light and it dilates or increases in size in dark light so that the eye continues to receive optimum light. Now this work dilatation and constriction or shrinkage is regulated by what is called as autonomic nerves, particularly parasympathetic nerves or sympathetic nerves. Now the parasympathetic nerves are controlled by a ganglion in the eye. It's called the ciliary ganglion. It's present behind the eye. Now what happens in Aedes pupil is this pupil is permanently dilated, meaning the parasympathetic system is not working properly. So even in the bright light, the pupil does not constrict. So patient has what is called as photophobia, that is aversion to light. Particularly when he is looking in the bright light, like sunlight or facing flashes in a camera, patients tends to close his eyes because he cannot face the light. Commonly, we say that this is because the ciliary ganglion is infected either by a virus or bacteria, thereby the control of this shutter system of the eye, the pupil, is lost. Usually this is in one eye, but around 20% of the patients have it in both the eyes. The common treatment that we do for this is drops. Drops are given in the initial stages so that patients get used to his condition. Remember, brain can get used to any kind of condition that we provide. So till it gets adjusted, we have to give certain drops. That is the simplest of all the treatments. Along with all this, we also ask the patient to use dark glasses, particularly when he is in, on the outside, in bright sunlight or use of Polaroid glasses in bright sunlight.